The Galaxy S23 FE will go official in less than a week, and some Samsung fans are dreading the return of the region-based Exynos and Snapdragon split that has been the tradition for Galaxy S flagships for the longest time, a tradition that Samsung broke in 2023 by using only a Snapdragon chip on both foldable and non-foldable flagships. While both Exynos and Snapdragon Galaxy S23 FE variants have been confirmed, there seems to be some confusion about the Snapdragon variant. To be more precise, some are wondering if the Galaxy S23 FE will use the Galaxy S22 lineup's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or the Plus version found inside the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Galaxy Z Flip 4. Part of the confusion seems to stem from the fact that Geekbench, one of the most popular benchmarking utilities available on Android, mentions Taro as the codename for both the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the 8 Plus Gen 1. So how does one make sure which of the two chips will be powering the Snapdragon Galaxy S23 Fan Edition? That can be done simply by comparing the clock speeds for the CPU cores on devices using those chips. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 has higher clock speeds on all of its 8 cores, with the fastest core clock at 3.2 GHz. The non-plus version, on the other hand, runs that core at 3 GHz. It's the same story for the 7 remaining cores, which are 200-300 MHz slower on the 8 Gen 1. And for the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, the slower and less efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is the one Samsung has opted for. The company likely did so to maintain parity with the Exynos variant of the phone or achieve a lower price tag, though it could also simply be part of Samsung's efforts to clear out old inventory. However, despite the older silicon, the Galaxy S23 FE should offer better performance than the Galaxy S22 series thanks to software optimization and improvements in Samsung's 4 nanometer manufacturing process. Efficiency should get a boost as well, though how performance and battery life will hold up in real-world use is something we will only find out once we get our hands on the device and put it through its paces. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.